Did you know that we have 206 bones and at least 650 muscles in our body? What? Watch the whole video and learn about our locomotor system. Welcome to the fun world for kids! Hello friends! The locomotor system, also known as the musculoskeletal system, allows the human being and the different animals to interact with the environment that surrounds us through movement. It also serves as support and protection for the organs of the body and follows all the orders that are generated and transmitted by the nervous system. Components of the locomotor system Osseous system Muscular system Let's get to know each of them. Osseous system. It is the complex and complete structure of the human skeleton, made up of 206 bones, as well as the cartilage, ligaments and tendons that connect the bones with the muscles and to other bones. Let's find out more about the parts of the osseous system. The skeleton, it is divided into two. Axial skeleton, it has a total of 80 bones, such as the skull, vertebral column, ribs, and sternum. The appendicular skeleton is formed by the bones of the upper and lower limbs, together with the shoulder and pelvic girdles. In total, it has 126 bones. The bones. They are firm, hard and resistant organs. They are composed of hard and soft tissues. The cartilage. Cartilage is found at the ends of the bones, protecting them. They function as pads and prevent those bones from colliding with each other, thus preventing their wear. Ow. The ligaments are very resistant and elastic fibrous tissues, which join the bones together at the points of rotation which are the joints. Joints. They are the joints between the bones that allow our body to move in many different ways and the skeleton to be flexible. Tendons. Similar to ligaments, they are thick and elastic fibrous tissues that attach muscles to bones, thus allowing voluntary movement. Functions. Can you imagine if we didn't have a skeleton? We would be a mass of skin and organs without the ability to move. Thanks to our skeletal system, our body maintains its shape and structure. They provide rigidity and support to the soft tissues, keeping everything in its respective place. They give protection. Being hard and in flexible pieces, the bones serve as an internal shield such as the ribs, which prevent damage to our lungs, heart and large blood vessels of the thorax. They allow voluntary movement along with muscles so that we can move, transfer, use tools and much more. They serve as a metabolic store of calcium and phosphate salts. They also produce blood cells in the red bone marrow found inside some of our bones. The muscular system. The muscular system is a set of muscles that can be controlled voluntarily by humans and animals. Its main function is to achieve mobility. Our muscles are super resistant and elastic. There are three types of muscles. Skeletal muscles. They are the ones that connect with the bones and allow the displacement or movement of the extremities. They are voluntary muscles, which means that we can control their movement. Cardiac muscles. They are the muscles of the heart wall. They need to be interconnected to be able to contract and expand in a totally synchronised and involuntary way, which means that we do not control their movement. Smooth muscles. They are also known as visceral or involuntary, since we do not control their movements either. For example, the movement of the intestines or the digestive tract. Functions of the muscular system. 
Locomotion. It is the displacement of the blood and movement of the extremities. The motor activity of the internal organs, the muscular system, is in charge of making all of our organs perform their functions, helping other systems such as the cardiovascular system. Mimicry. This is all about facial actions, also known as gestures that serve to express what we feel and perceive. <laughs> Stability. The muscles, together with the bones, allow the body to remain stable while remaining in a state of activity. Did you know they produce heat? They give the typical appearance of the body, since the muscles and tendons define the shape of our body. And they define the posture allowing the control of the positions that the body performs in a state of rest. Curiosities of the locomotor system. Smiling is easier than frowning. To smile, 20 muscles are involved, while to frown, more than 40 are needed. The largest and heaviest bone in our body is the femur and it is found in the thighs. In our ear, we find the smallest bone, called the stirrup. It measures less than a grain of rice and is attached to the smallest muscle in the body. The pidius is in the middle of the ear. It measures only five millimeters and is finer than a cotton thread. The strongest muscle in the body is the masseter, located on both sides of the face, in the jaw area. It is the muscle in charge of chewing and is capable of exerting a force of up to 90 kilograms. Thank you for watching our video. Did you like what you learned? Subscribe and find many more videos so you can learn while having fun. You can also watch this video in Spanish on our channel Mundo Divertido de Niños. The link is in the description. Lots of love. Bye-bye.